everybody, my name is Elliot, and today we're going to be going over the brand new Amana Marth Berserker album. Let's get into it. The first thing that I'll be going over is the cosmetics of this album. So the album art. I love his face. It just makes you feel like you're in battle and you're about to squash some faces and throw axes at people. And that face just is the feeling when Yuan sings. You're like, ah! You got arrows flying through the air. You got blood coming from his axe. Shields and swords pointing at him. Here's the back here. More arrows flying through the air. Got ravens flying. The shield wall. Raven's Flight and Shield Wall are two of their songs on this album. Two of my favorites on this album. There's the gatefold. Basic black and white picture, but it kind of looks like they're staring into your soul. Take a look at that. Now we got this colored vinyl here, limited edition. This black and white splatter vinyl. You got the shield in the middle, which is actually the shield on the album cover. It looks awesome. I really love the sound on this album and the production. It makes me feel like I'm in the middle of a Game of Thrones type of war. I also love the guitar tones on this. It reminds me of old school Iron Maiden dual guitar and Metallica. I also love the drums on this album too. And Yuan's vocals just sounds like seven different dragons breathing fire on your face at the same time. I really love it. Now let's get into the songs. The first song that I'm going to be talking about is Fafner's Gold. It reminds me of Battery from Master of Puppets. With the acoustics in the beginning, and then the other acoustic guitar comes in, and then it just goes into the meat and distortion of the song. And that's a great way to start off this album. Another great song on this album is Shield Wall. You got the Shield Wall right here. Protecting. Raven's Flight is my favorite song, my personal favorite. And it's the first song that they released for this album. I really like the guitar tone on the song too, when it just comes in with that Iron Maiden slash Megadeth type of vibe. Then this song, when once again we can set our sails, sounds like old school Iron Maiden killers like I was talking about earlier. It has, actually sounds like Steve Harris is playing the bass on the song. That's all I have to say about those songs, those are the highlights for me. Overall, I really recommend this album if you haven't got it yet. We didn't get it right when it came out on May 3rd, but I'm so happy and appreciative that we got the money to get this album. It's so awesome. I also wanted to mention this album here, Twilight of the Thunder God. It's a fan favorite, and we have it out of 100. Gray-brown marbled vinyl. Ultimate vinyl edition. What's your favorite album of Amar Mark? I have this awesome shirt from when I actually got to see him live and interview the singer. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice metal day. Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Pump Pupil, and I want to say thank you for watching our video. And to make sure you guys go follow us on Instagram, at Little Pump Pupil, all one word. And if you guys want to follow my personal, it's E-L-L-I-O-T-T-F-U-L-L-A-M on Instagram. Thank you for watching and have a nice night.